Um, this question is for Dr. Pipes. Dr. Pipes, how do you reconcile your vehement defense of free speech tonight um, with the founding operation of Campus Watch, an organization, um, for those who don't know, uh, that actually tries to curb academic discourse on Middle East issues on American universities? Don't you think universities should have the same rights? Actually tries to curb free discussion on universities. Is that what Campus Watch is about? Have you been to Free Campus Watch? Have you been to the Campus Watch website? Not personally. All right. <laughs> the Campus Watch homepage describes the purpose of Campus Watch, which is an organization or a project that I started in September 2002. And its goal is to critique Middle East studies in the United States and Canada. Just as theater critics go to the theater and tell you if it's a good play or a bad play, just as political analysts give you an assessment of the politician, whether he's doing a good job or a bad job, just as Consumer Reports tells you whether it's a good vacuum cleaner or toaster, so we are saying good job or bad job. Now, if you could explain to me how that is curtailing anyone's free speech, I would be very interested in learning the answer. We at Campus Watch are a small think tank. They have yet to give us powers of incarceration or arrest. <laughs> We have yet to go into anyone's classroom and close it down. We have no such powers. We don't seek them. What we seek to do is critique. Now, what happens is the university, uh, some university professors are uh, so immune, so inured to such, or you know, it's parallel to what I was saying about the Muslim world. They're not used to criticism, and so university professors are used to the. Um, to, to not being criticized, to the adulation of their students, and the respectful treatment of their peers, and don't get criticized. And we say these are people who are out there in newspapers, out there on television, out there in books. They're giving important interpretations of absolutely vital issues, like the, what is the nature of jihad and who is the enemy. And therefore, we have the right, absolute right, to criticize them, as they have the absolute right to give their interpretations. They have the right to give their interpretations. We have the right to critique them. Sounds good to me. Doesn't sound good to you? <laughs> <laughs>